all right so this video is going to be different from the normal vanilla career mode that we all play as you can see from the title it says ultimate career mode and you might be wondering what that means right but before i get into that i'm going to be using birmingham city because the created club on fc24 is really really fucked up when i'm using my created players some ea sports bug that they have refused to fix for some reason and yes i'm using my creative players for this series if you're new to my channel and you play fifa a lot and you like to create players i have a lot of them on my channel that you can pick and choose from the link will be in the description below and also like somewhere on the top of the screen right now i don't know if it's, if it's left or on the right so i'm going to be playing on ultimate difficulty five minute half length a hundred million pounds in the budget and the transfer window and the european competitions will be disabled in the first season we're going to be starting in the championship because we're going to be up against 43 of the best clubs in the world 20 would be in the premier league and 23 would be in the championship and because jorgen club has left liverpool he will be taking the reins at the newly revamped birmingham city club and the aim of this career mode is to be successful enough to get the sex to play in one season that is a crazy crazy ass goal but i feel like it's possible like after like three four seasons our players should be like good enough they should all be like 90 rated or some shit like that so the majority of them are like in the high 70s low 70s right now so by the time like like after like four or five seasons they should be good enough to actually like um compete for a sex to play it's crazy but it can be done the teams in the championship are lille birmingham city west ham lazio inter miami villarreal ajax Al Hilal, Al Ittihad, Athletic Club, Chelsea, FC Porto, Feyenoord, Napoli, Newcastle, Roma, Aston Villa, RC Lons, Real Sociedad, Sevilla, Lyon, Stuttgart, PSV, and Al Nasser. And then for the Premier League, the teams are Manchester United, Benfica, Arsenal, Juventus, Liverpool, City, Bayern, Leipzig, Atletico Madrid, AC Milan, Real Madrid, Spurs, Leverkusen, Sporting Lisbon, PSG, Dortmund, Barcelona, Inter Milan, Marseille, and Monaco. So as you can see, it's crazy. That's why I'm calling it the ultimate car mode because every single one of the best teams in the world are in this league, like the two leagues. So I'm really going to be curious who's going to like get relegated from the Premier League and who, apart from my team, hopefully is going to be promoted to the Premier League for next season. New owners aim at success for Birmingham City. So that's a sneak peek at the creative players that made it into the club. So let's take a look at the rest of the players in the squad from the highest rated to the lowest rated. All right, so we have Diogo Leonardo, a 20 year old center attacking midfielder from Italy. We have Xavier Elfaquer, a 20 year old right winger from France. We have Andre Danilo, a 70 year old left winger from Ukraine. Caleb Rivera, a 22 year old striker from United States. Then we have Mateo Rivas, who is the vice captain, 20 year old center back from Argentina. We have Gabi from Brazil, a 20 year old right midfielder. We have Moses Akimen, a 19 year old striker from Nigeria. I always have to wear my country. We have Adonis Nomikos, a 21 year old center back from Greece. Brandon Lakeshore, 70 year old left mid from England. Kellen Robinson, a 19 year old right wing back from Scotland. Chung Won is a 17 year old center mid from from south korea um zachary brooks is a 20 year old left wing back from the united states of america so that's two from the united states um alexis coran is a 27 year old goalkeeper from england he's the captain of the team also the oldest in the team ramsey west is a 19 year old center back from um, england carl anderson is a 70 year old center mid from england sorry from denmark hakim o'hara is from morocco 20 year old as well Christian Rizenizak, I hope I spelled that right, is a 28 year old centre back from Poland. I really hope I spelled Christian Rizenizak, sorry, I, I really hope I pronounced it right. Christian Rizenizak, Jesus Christ. Christian Rizenizak. You know, I don't care what the fuck his name is. Then we have um, the rest of the players that are like originally from Birmingham City. I just like picked six of them. So six of them are going to be in the squad. Is that six? All right, that's nine of them rather. I made a mistake, sorry about that. Now that we're done with that, this is the formation I'm going to be using for now. A 3-4-2-1. Rivera at the top with Andre Danilo and Xavier El Parque just behind him. Brandon Lakeshore and Gabi at the left and right mids with Sean Guan and Diogo Leonardo at the center mid. Vice captain Thiago Rivas, Nomi Coase and Ramsey West are the center back trio and Alexis Coran is our first team goalkeeper and the captain of the team. On the bench, I have Moses Akimen, Anderson, Akimitu, Zachary Brooks, Kaelan Robertson, Rizenizak, and El Harar. This is our attacking formation though, but for our defensive formation, we're easily switched to a 5-2-3 with Brooks and Robertson coming on for Lakeshore and Gabi respectively. So now that all the introductions are out of the way, I guess now is the best time to say that I've been going to the hospital back to back to back because my nose 
Rose is absolutely moving mad. You might not have been able to tell, but there are a lot of cuts in this first section of the video. So the rest of the video is going to be no face cam and no commentary, sadly. So please bear with me for the very first couple of videos in this series. I can't exactly talk for like a long amount of time just yet. But with a bit of time, I should be back to my best and yeah, I'm going to be playing all the league matches. I'm putting up all the highlights for league matches per episode for now. But if there's like a Carabao Cup or FA Cup, then I'm, I might play like the, um, what do you call it? The playable highlights or I might simulate it. But, or if it's like a big team, I might play just to see if I can actually like get into like a next round or something mm -hmm. like that. And if you are still watching by now, please leave a like and drop a sub. It goes a long way and it helps me out a lot. And it's also free. <laughs> so sit back, relax, and watch the journey of my players on their way to dominate every single one of the best teams in the world. And I will see you in the next video. Peace. Hello everyone, the heavens opened earlier and the rain shows no inclination to stop. We're looking forward to the game anyway. My name is Derek Ray and sitting alongside me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson. All the players are willing to adapt to his style of play. Today will give us a good indication. Cuts it back. Back to it easily, the keeper. for goal but the keeper takes charge and it was pretty straightforward might work out oh that's textbook goalkeeping and just a bit too much height on that one but more than decent incisive pass he had to score, and he does. Well, as you can see, the defending is really poor, but he won't mind. It's a simple finish for him. Good idea. Oh, it's in! A two-goal cushion now, and the lead fully merits it. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, and the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. And space to cross it. And the keeper's technical skills there for all to see. Well, delivering it. Preferring to go infield. Can he get one back? He can! He's given his team a real opportunity, and momentum is with them. Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance, and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. That's a good pass. Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. And danger still. Doing well to win it back. What can they do from here? Takes the shot. My goodness, that save. Fully stretched he was. One for his own highlights reel. Substitution. Well, we've been wondering for a while now, would it happen for Manchester United? Now it has happened on the transfer front, Stuart. Is it going to be? And a little bit too much height on that one. With two excellent coaches. I can't wait for that one to come round. Can't miss, surely! And diving to thwart him. Trying to deliver it accurately. Oh, goodness me, off the post. Chances on. Well, dare I say it, that would have finished this as a contest once and for all. Well, the action is going to continue for a while yet. We will have four minutes of stoppage time. A chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. 
The referee blows for full time, it ends at a victory for the home team. No complaints from the fans here. Yeah, they should be happy with that. It was a good display and it's always important to get off to a decent start. Well, we're picking him out for a reason. He's had a tremendous game and attack, Stuart. Well, it's a good performance. He worked hard, played well and scored a goal. And his team won. What more could you ask for? the biggest stage get ready to clash in front of a packed stadium all the action here on ea tv hello everyone the heavens opened earlier and the rain shows no inclination to stop we're looking forward to the game anyway can he open them up here could still be dangerous on a time for composure on the ball rivera is this the moment well, it goes down as a miss so early in this game. Well, it may be early in the game, but that should have been a goal, no doubt about that, and I'm That's sure we're going to see more of the same today. Can he finish? It could be up for grabs. No. Now with Rivera. Well, making considerable progress with the ball. Must take the lead here, and they have. You've got to say, it has been coming. Well, here you can see what a good goal this is. He hits it so cleanly and the keeper has no chance. That's a great strike. It should be. Well, the goalkeeper making a big contribution and denying him another one. Setting off perhaps a little bit too much here. That's a go. The save was a good one. And just one minute of time added on for stoppages. Could cross it in here. Giving it a try. Well, really fine goalkeeping. Good diving stop. Let's see about the delivery. Oh, such an elegant finish. How about that on the volley? A brilliant strike. Whatever way you look at it. Well, let's look at this again. It's a decent delivery into the box. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. Parejo. Super challenge. Parejo. My goodness, that save. Fully stretched he was. One for his own highlights reel. Well, they're going for the short one. And a decent delivery. And denied by the woodwork. You must admire the technique. Yeah, it's a good effort on the volley, but in the end, not quite good enough. It should have been a goal. Must score! Oh, a stellar piece of defending. And support available. Moreno. That's a good looking pass. And denied by the keeper. Impressive. Alex Baena. Trying to really get at the opposition here. Oh, he could finish. Not finished yet. Not quite yet. Still excitement left in the game. Well, here's the replay. What a great pass this is from Moreno. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. And he can't believe it. This will be an interesting game now. Pass defensively. Traore. Let's go square the game. But no, thanks to the goalkeeper. Opportunity not taken. 
And there it is, the final whistle. The home fans are going to be happy with this result. Well, I've been really impressed with them, Derek. They've shown a lot of good qualities in their first couple of games. I think they're going to have an excellent season, I really do. Well, we're picking him out for a reason. He's had a tremendous game and attack, Stuart. Well, he was a major reason why they won today. He was so reliable and he inspires those around him. What is a perfect night for football? The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the technical and tactical analysis, is Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Carabao Cup. It's Birmingham City, and they take on Stockport County. Well, Derek, although the hosts are clear favourites, this could prove to be a tricky game for them, unless they score an early goal, because their opponents will sit deep, remain compact, and defend with determination. They also pose a threat on the counter-attack and are really good at set plays. It's going to be an interesting one. But doesn't have to do it on his own. We'll have a bit more on the way of Chris. Played into the box. But couldn't really direct it where he wanted. Superbly read and executed. Jorinho Bakuna. Pike Seung Ho. Not getting anxious when they have the ball. And a chance for them to nudge in front. And a decent save. This to make it 1-0. from the spot and finding the target. Just the challenge that was required. Well, shortly we'll hear the final whistle. The home side with the lead. Stuart, what have you made of this? Well, it's been a tight game, but I think they've been... The and that's it, the final whistle and the hosts will go through. His performance in this particular game will have impressed many people, Stuart. Well, he was excellent today and he gave them that all-important lead. They just struggled to cope with him. His movement was so clever. Then get up, get dressed Before work's off my list What's left to do, just guess It's you, my favourite But I want to taste you and feel your shake, raising an earthquake Can't push the brakes when a rush hits A stadium alive with atmosphere And two teams ready to commit themselves to excellence for 90 captivating minutes We're privileged to be here on an occasion that resonates with football Stamford Bridge is the venue, I must say the weather has certainly cooperated It's beautiful here today I'm Derek Ray, and my commentary partner, as always, is Stuart Robson. Player, but when he gets free kicks in wide areas, he usually delivers the perfect cross. And when it's on the edge of the box, he always makes the goalkeeper work. Oh, hang on, Stuart. Big chance here. And a goal! Now they have their opener, and now they can celebrate. Well, it's great awareness of space in the box, and then he shows a lot of composure with the finish. That's a clever goal. West. Excellent vision. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. Well, news coming through that the referee has pointed to the spot in one of the other matches. With the details, here's Alex. Yes, yeah, it was a penalty for Sevilla. The love was dead. Now jumping in because this is a chance. And pure instinct from the keeper. Well, a top-class reaction from a top-class goalkeeper. towards the back post and they've done it to square the game once again exhilarating well here it is again and what a perfect cross into the box this is 
just inviting someone to attack it and he does well to read the flight of the ball to be fair almost just cushions it beyond the goalkeeper and that seemed to catch him off guard a really good control finish Malo Gusto composed and patient passing surely and keeping it out nice weight on the pass Here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. But when he shoots, I expected him to go across the goalkeeper. He should never beat the goalkeeper inside that near post. That's not good keeping. Gallagher. Oh, it might be. And what a magical save it was. It's a goal for Leon. The score's level again now at 1-1 with 53 minutes played. Alex with the info as ever. Now they've lost it. Great opportunity. Oh, good work by the keeper. Good looking sequence. Really vital interception here. This could level it. Is this the moment? And that's sound goalkeeping to hang on to the shot like that. Pulls it back. Well, nothing for them to worry about in the end. Good defending. Now breaking at pace. Potential danger. Really annoying for them. Couldn't take advantage. They're showing a willingness to attack as they must, given the circumstances. And they needed to make that moment count. They're still trailing. Well, what a chance to draw level. Not sure they're going to get another one. Your way on EA TV. It's Chelsea against Villarreal. It should be! Oh, he's missed, but by a minuscule margin. Will he... Can he find the angle? Oh, a smart stop. Well, they'll be looking to add to their advantage from this corner. And played short. Nicely timed tackle. And that will be all for this game anyway, and defeat for the visitors, much to the disappointment of their supporters. Well, I thought they looked good in their opening couple of matches, but today was a different story. They just lacked that bit of energy. Hopefully, it's just a blip. Can't push the brakes when a rush hits. We're going in, we're going in. You keep me biting my cheek, yeah. A man to watch. Three goals in three games, and you can't argue with that. We're live next on EA TV. Likes to run with the ball at his feet. Well, fantastic reflex action. Now sending it in. Well, not away properly. It's still alive. Well, I take my hat off to him because that was superb defending. Bex on this occasion, Stuart. Well, it was tight, but they just didn't have enough to avoid that defeat away from home. Today, though, it's important that they show some resilience and defend better as a unit. If they do that, I think they'll probably get something from this game. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Incisive pass, and he's outdone himself. Wonderful save there. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. Well, this could rip. Can they take the lead? And what a magical save it was. Opportunity here. Well, fantastic reflex action from the goalkeeper. Well, they've been frustrated for quite a while now, but these fans have suddenly come to life. And in the right position to read it. And he has options available. Dangerous looking through ball. Oh, that is a majestic goal! Volleyed home with precision and style. Superbly done.
Well, here it is again. It's a wonderfully weighted ball over the top, and it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connect. Running with the ball confidently. Delivered into the area here. Well, you can't argue with finishing like that. Superb stuff. Well, just look at this. Magnificent agility, perfect timing, and great connection. What a goal that is. No panic, just passing. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Can they forge ahead? It's still alive. But no, that's the end of the move because offside is the verdict. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Oh, genuine chance. Oh, there it is. The mistake punished to the maximum and the goalkeeper left distraught. Huge error. Well, as you can see, he has to get rid of that quicker. That's a poor mistake from the keeper. Targets available, Cross comes in and clears his lines. Loves to attack from the wide areas. A smart stop here. And there goes the final whistle and the home fans are going to be happy about this outcome. Well, Derek, it was very competitive. Chances at both ends, but I feel they were the better team and they deserve their victory. Well, they put in a really thorough performance here, Stuart. Well, that performance sums him up, really. You're never disappointed with what he gives you. Such a good player. Nah, nah.